The uh, first icon that I worked on is an angel, and it's done in the uh, style representative of an early period of ecclesiastical embroidery, in which the face is a single color, and all the stitching is straight vertical, up and down, regardless of the shape of the face or the other contours that are encountered. The only place the line is shaped at all is above the eyes. The second icon actually gave me an opportunity to learn shading. So there are two colors used in the face with the shaded color around the outer edges and alongside the nose and the brighter color in the forehead and the cheeks. The other characteristic of this is that the stitching follows the contours of the face so you have the shading working its way around the sides, you have the vertical around the nose, you have curves around the eyes that gradually shift into a forehead curve. So there are uh, the reflection of the silk changes as the stitching direction changes and so you get the play of light off it making it appear as if there are even more colors where when the silk is all stitched in the same direction it all looks like the same color. This piece will be finished with a red silk border, um, just the fabric, not an actual stitched border, but you can see approximately what that would look like mm. with the red silk on it. With the angel, uh, the, I have a, a, an, a, a text border, a short prayer, and both outside and inside the lettering will be a lot. Uh, those aren't in yet because I'm still in the process of finishing the lettering. The first few letters on this side have the gold outlining and all of the rest of the letters need the gold outlining completed before I start working on the border of the piece.